I was talking to uh, Steve Nowicki about Eddie Van Halen Con. I thought like um, there's an Eddie Van Halen Con. It's all Eddie Van Halen super fans and guitar builders, and you know he's a guitar builder. He built his own. Yes. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was just like the most amazing day of being around all these Eddie Van Halen fans. Everybody had the 5150 replicas out there. We compared the dents, the relics. We talked about the wood that was used on it. We debated where some of the dents were from 1983. Some of the dents were from the Kramer factory when they built them on the 5150. I brought my 1984 body. I was showing that. It was, oh, it was unreal. Was your 5150 replica of Eddie Van Halen's famous guitar the best one there? Because you're pretty detail-oriented, or oh, there it is. Yeah, there's parts of it that were the best, but the main thing that threw me off, because this is, some people relic them in the modern-day style. This is relic to look as close as I could get it to the 1986 5150 tour. So oh. the way it looks on the back to this, but... The main thing I noticed is the the grain. So this is a guitar is made of basswood, which is the main theory on what the wood they used. So the grain, I, I did this fake grain cutaway, but I went a little, I went about a half inch too far with it. So hmm. I, I've learned that the grain is not right, but everything else is pretty solid. The relic is pretty solid and, and all that. But what is the end game with all this, Steve? Do you hope to morph into Eddie Van Halen at some point, maybe do a tribute show? I mean, what are we working toward here? You know, it is a thing that, like, it's a good skill where I now know how to repair guitars. I can do the paint jobs well, but I'm also, like, building guitars. I really know how to do, you know, repairs and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's a legit skill to have, too. He can repair guitars if things fall through here. I mean, uh... I work in the back room at Guitar Center. Would it be possible if all you dudes got together, all you guys who know how to build these guitars and just build an actual Eddie Van Halen, like a robot <laughs> that could <laughs> that could play like Eddie Van Halen? Um, by the way, not only is Steve a, a complete maniac for everything Eddie Van Halen, but I should congratulate him. I congratulated him this morning. He's engaged. He, he, oh. he, got, he got engaged. And this guy was a big coxman. Congratulations. Look at you, you know, settling down. <laughs> I kept messing with her and I, around Eddie Van Halen Con, I kept saying, you should come to Connecticut. I'm like, I, I might want to ask you something at Eddie Van Halen Con. And she was like, if you do that to me, I would, she's like, that wouldn't be good. Just don't do it. I said I was oh. going to propose at EVH Con and then play Panama. Just, I, I wouldn't have really done it. I was just fucking with her. Uh, the other big news out of Eddie Van Halen Con was Steve got to hold the actual drill that Eddie Van Halen used when and he... It looked um, just like the drill that I built too. It was one of these... The Makita drills, and it was the one from the the '95 tour that he he does the pound cake on, which is the song that's like. <laughs> oh!